Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting around to episode 7 and 8 of Simpho Care. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 7 in 3, 2, 1, go. Hmm. I didn't want this to happen. So. Did not want that to happen. But it happened, and it. Why? This is not fair. I didn't want Miku to see her like this. This is gonna be bad. Yes. When the hell are they gonna save Chris? Chris need to be saved by, you know, the naked woman. <laughs> I'm just saying. Save her from the naked woman, please, because, uh, like, she over there torturing this shit out of her. That's not right. Like, honestly, let her go, please. I mean, you know, she got clothes on now. She, you know, currently kicking Kiki's ass. Or really, it's the other way around. But still. Let you <laughs> Let you be key rep, you Chris. Because she's Madoka, no matter what. She Tanya, she Madoka, she all of them in one. Hell, I don't even remember any other freaking character that she's played. She's played so many freaking characters. You don't have to take her. So, yeah, Chris is the type of person who likes to kick butt first and then ask questions later. Finally, it's the fossil. That was the two bosses that was her singing? Um. Even though she evil. Yeah, he be you by yourself. I, I <laughs> Subasa ain't coming. I mean, yeah, Subasa, you know, she at the hospital, you know. I, I thought, you know, maybe she have a little bit of energy. Come and kick Chris's ass, but no. Oh, fuck. And Miku can't do anything. Miku just out of watching. Well, damn. Oh, she made it! Oh my god! Let's <laughs> go, baby! Mm 
Ya no hay niña de la niña. Oh. And plus, I, I'm assuming, you know, Kibiki is starting to like you. She's warming up to you, and so she's going to care about you, and she don't want you to get hurt. And there's the naked lady. Even though I still know her name, I'm still going to probably call her the naked lady. Seriously? Bitch, you don't. Bye-bye. Damn it, Chris! Because I'm guessing that's the only person she's ever truly known as Fina. Someone who really, like, after maybe all the despair and ish that she has been in, she was the only person to confine in her. Fina was the only one that she had. Oh shit. I think I'll erase her mind. Let's not do this, please. Let me go to the Yeah, but she's not here anymore, so, mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Even though I said something, you know, it was funny, so what? Kind of like everything, everything. Um.
Potter and Tom Riddle, they go! She's not exactly good at kids, is she? <laughs> then why are you humming? Yeah, like those two. Okay, I know Viku is being a bitch, but, you know, she has the right to being a bitch. Yeah, guess y'all won't be sleeping in the same bed anymore. Just, you know. 
cut that. Yeah, I still don't trust her. Mm. Mm. And of course, Nico ain't gonna help her because she's feeling a certain type of way. Because there were so many times where she wanted to tell you, but she couldn't. would have been so much better if they just would have erased her memory. That would have been fine. Not this. I ain't want this either. Futaba is supposed to be happy, I dig it. It's Futaba. Futaba.
I don't like this. I don't like what I'm feeling right now. <laughs> Come on, are you serious? You you can't expect me to just continue on with this without them not being friends anymore. <laughs> you cool? No. <laughs> You precious! Oh my god, how good you you were so mean! Oh my god, I can't no. Mm -hmm. I ain't want this. Why you do this? Why? She ain't do nothing wrong. It would have been fine if she would have just apologized. And then Miko could have apologized too and they could have accepted it. But no. You just want to fuck somebody over and be like, ha ha, no, they're not going to be friends anymore. They can't be friends anymore because you know she's a magical girl and it's not that easy. This is an anime, I dig it. No, no one can ever truly be happy. Can we also talk about Curse with the Kids? Like, oh my god. <laughs> you know, slowly but surely. <laughs> Chris is going to, you know, be okay with the kids. Oh, hey, Chris. Of course, she doesn't need you anymore. Well, in a way, you were also probably like a sex object to her, too. I figured she would have one, too. Why does Hobo like that Goku match for all this? <laughs> What's this line? Oh my god! So, you gotta die. Oh, fuck, I wasn't expecting that. I mean, of course, Chris ain't dead. I mean, come on now. Like, you know, as most of you have said, she is best girl. So, you know, best girl can't die. No, 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 no. But honestly, you know, Chris was really good with those kids. I mean, <laughs> she still made the girl cry. I mean, but still, she, you know, she, she a little good with kids. I mean, that's what you want, you know, girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife. Yeah, be good with kids. Yeah, I, I'm just, I'm hurt. I am so hurt. My Futaba, my Tanya, my freaking Madoka is upset, and I don't like the fact that she's upset. Freaking Miku is over here. Yeah, I can't be your friend anymore. Like, you didn't have to make her. I mean, Nico cried. She cried. I'm crying on the inside because I don't want to cry today. <laughs> but I'm crying. I just, I don't like the way this is going. And we know that it's going to become the ish that happened in episode one again. This is going to be like this and whole entire series because we're now. Yeah, we're at the halfway point of this now. We're past the halfway point. <sighs> She's going to regret saying that. She is so going to regret saying that to Hibiki. It may not be now. It may not be later. You know, it may not be like three months from now. But by the time we get to the point where she is at that grave again and she is crying over Hibiki's grave, that's the moment where she's going to regret saying that we shouldn't have been friends anymore. And I'm just going to be sitting here like, mm-hmm.
Mm-hmm, yes, you can't take those words back anymore because she's gone. And so, there's nothing you can do. Also, with the Swan Song thing, I mean, the biggest thing I kept wondering, especially with the fact is, yes, Kanade sang hers, Tsubasa sang, uh, sang hers, and then with Hibiki, because Hibiki, you know, is our main character. I feel like, and I'm just going to say this, and I'm not, like, if I am right about this, don't tell me. Let me finish the rest of this first season, and then, you know, tell me. Or... Tell me if I'm, like, I, I have, like, a point, but it's, like, you're not going to tell me because of reasons or spoilers or whatever. I feel like, possibly, she's maybe immune to that swan song. Maybe, like, if she does sing it, and I'm guessing probably by the end of this first season, there's going to be a point where she's going to have to sing it. And I don't think it's really going to affect her as it affects, like, Kanade with Kanade dying, Subasa like, almost dying. So, with her possibly singing it, she might, you know... She might have blood coming out of her eyes, her nose, her mouth, her everything. But I think she'll be okay. I'm not 100% sure on that. But, I mean, you know, I, I think if I could give a guess of when Hibiki's song is possibly going to happen, her song of death, that's probably going to be episode 12 or 13, maybe. Like, let's just say that right now. Not, probably not even 11. I would say, like, if... 11, 12, and 13, because I think what I'm going to probably do is watch all those three together, just depending on how, when we get there and stuff. Um, it's going to be, like, this big season one finale, and then whatever all happens in season one is going to lead into season two. I don't really know. We ain't going to know until we get there, but go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode eight. Okay, episode eight in three, two, one, go. Huh. That's what it's like in Florida currently. Mm -hmm. Oh, happy they were in that picture. It's not like that now. Hmm. God damn, that's so awkward. Why am I getting magical curl rising project meals? Because this was the time that <laughs> it was dark, depressing, and rainy when my best girl died. Mm -mm. Oh god, she's gonna... Are we serious? You're gonna literally have her meet Chris. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Technically, she kind of met Chris, but not really, though. But we, we really doing that. No, Cody. Go, go lay down. No? Come here. Hey I don't wait. Is Miko going to be the reason why Chris is going to be good now? That would make a kind of sense. No. <laughs> But she might, you know, take her to, like, the hospital or whatever. Okay, look, Cody, you can't do that.
Well, yeah, because, you know, Phoenix kicked her ass out. I know. Well, she just awoke, so... <laughs> okay, little one, you've been voted off. Go play. Yeah, oh, hence why you said what you said in the last episode, Miku? I was about to say that. But, I mean, you had Fine, and I, would I really consider Fine a friend? I don't know.
I mean, but her, like, let me say this right now. She's going to have friends. She's going to become friends with Subasa and Hibiki. Maybe not now. You know, technically she has Niku, who's kind of her friend, but, yeah. Hmm? Yeah. You're just a good person who had bad things. Yeah, but see, you don't want to be friends with your fucking Kimiki. Oh, come on! Yeah, any time now. You gotta love her, but she's hard headed as fuck. That's okay. A lot of us are hard headed.
Mm, that's me. Okay, find a way out first and then sing. There we go. Okay, now go get your girlfriend. Girl, hurry up and go save your damn girlfriend. Like, my God, she might die. She gonna die. <laughs> oh, shit.
That was literally the roughest landing I've ever seen. But good job! Girlfriend. Thank you for making them make up, because if they would have went like two and three more episodes not talking to each other, oh, it would have been so awkward. <laughs> so she's okay. I swear to God, she was about to feed me. I mean, cause she has no home to go to. So where in the world is she gonna go? <laughs> oh, I'm so glad they fucking made up because oh, I would have been so pissed. I'm so happy. Like, oh my god. Uh -huh. Honestly, it would have been so mean if it lasted for like two more episodes or longer. Mm. I don't know what else to really say about this episode. It went by fast, but it was good as fuck, though. But, I mean, where the heck is Chris going to stay? I, like, I don't want her to go back to Phoenix. She, in a way, she's not really accepted back there. So, where in the world can she go, you know? That's what I'm thinking about. Where can she be accepted? I mean, she could go to the school and be with, you know, Tsubasa and Hibiki and Miku because, you know, her and Miku are somewhat friends. But, I mean, I think, you know, as of right now, I, I kind of consider them acquaintances rather than friends yet because they haven't really, they only spent, like, this much of time together not like a lot which I, I don't know 
But I feel like Nico is the type of person who really makes friends, like, relatively quickly. But I don't know. What the hell is this girl going to say? Where's she going to go? That's all I want to know. That's it. You ain't, ain't you probably not gonna even gonna give me that. No, you ain't gonna give me Jack Ish. Like, uh, I don't know now. I mean, I'm glad that those two were friends again. They are now officially a couple again. They had their little breakup match. They made up. Yeah, and see, and everything's back to normal. Not really, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just, um, I think it's just gonna get worse. Whatever Fine is planning, and then what's her face with the last episode when she was talking about the swan song and everything? Like those are the, I, I, those are the only two characters that like I can't trust. But the woman who was talking about the swan song, I still like her, but I relatively can't trust her because I felt like she flip flopping. She probably reporting in to somebody else too. Mm, can't trust everybody. You freaking me. I'm just saying, but I, I don't know. I'm stumped, and I have no idea what the fuck could happen next. But other than that, guys, it was my reaction view towards episodes 7 and 8 of Simpoker. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchroom Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for the Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes 9 and 10. Bye, guys. <laughs>